Example 10. The effective atomic number rule is not obeyed by. The effective atomic number rule states that the d block elements, transition metals, they try to achieve the atomic number of the nearest noble gas by accepting electron pairs from ligands. If they can achieve the atomic number of the nearest noble gas, then we call those compounds as they are obeying EAN rule. So, EAN can be calculated, EAN meaning effective atomic number can be calculated by this formula. Atomic number minus the electrons lost in a metal ion that is its oxidation state plus electrons gained by the metal ion from ligands. In the first compound in the option A nickel has atomic number 28. It is in zero oxidation state. It is gaining four electron pairs. Four electron pairs meaning four into two eight electrons. So, the answer here comes to be 36. 36 is the atomic number of krypton, the nearest noble gas. So, therefore, we can say that tetracarbonyl nickel 0 obeys EAN rule. Here, we have to find which does not obey EAN rule. In a similar fashion, if we are taking compound B, K4 Fe Cn6. Fe has atomic number 26. It is showing oxidation number of plus 2 meaning 2 electrons are lost. 6 cyanide ligands are donating electron pairs. So therefore we have 12 electrons. Once again when we calculate this we do get 36 once again matching atomic number of krypton. This also obeys EAN rule. Coming to option C. Cu NH3 4 2 plus. The atomic number of copper is 29. It is in plus 2 oxidation state. So let us reduce 2 electrons. It is gaining 4 electron pairs. So 4 into 2. The answer here comes to be 35. So as you can see this is not matching any noble gas configuration. So this complex here we can say that it is not obeying EAN rule. The last compound here option D. FeCO5. Atomic number of iron here is 26. It is in zero oxidation state, so it has not lost any electrons. It is gaining 5 electron pairs, 5 into 2. Therefore, once again giving the atomic number krypton. It is obeying effective atomic number rule. So, out of all these four options, this is obeying A, B and D obey EAN rule. Only C is the one which is not obeying EAN rule. Hence, option C is the correct answer. Effective atomic number rule is not obeyed by option C.